Coming up, a wild gallery of stop-motion creatures and digital characters are brought to life by the father of claymation. Great. And a bizarre electronically charged character known as Mr. Resistor runs rampant through a dusty attic. These and hundreds of other fantastic characters were not created in the hustle of Hollywood, but on a colorful street corner in Portland, Oregon, at Will Vinton Studios. For me, it's been a fascination with bringing things to life, bringing characters to life. Even though Will Vinton and co-creator Bob Gardner won a 1975 Oscar for their first animated film, Closed Mondays, it was a singing band of hip raisins that brought the studio to national prominence in the mid-80s. And claymation became Vinton's exclusive term for his special brand of stop-motion animation. Today, Will Vinton Studios is acclaimed for dimensional animation, a masterful blend of clay, stop-motion, and computer-generated imagery. Vinton's commercial spots for Fanta Soda feature a spry green character who enlivens a cow cocktail party. <laughs> While Fanta Man is a computer-generated image, the cows are created from clay and cut out photos of human eyes and mouths. They are then filmed on a stop-motion set and later composited with computer graphics. That shoe doesn't look like it's rotating much. Though. When Vinton was contracted to produce a series of M&M commercials, studio president David Altschul saw a perfect opportunity for CGI. It was important that the surfaces of the M&Ms actually look like real M&Ms. And we knew that we could come close with clay or other materials, but that it would never be perfectly real. Whereas we knew that we could hit it dead on in the computer. While Will Vinton Studios has successfully created lifelike characters in the computer, it has not abandoned stop motion. For the Vinton Halloween television special, Comedy of Horrors, master animator Teresa Drilling brings life to a stop motion puppet constructed from foam latex, clay, and plastic. This character is a character called Famine. He's supposed to be one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Uh, natural, he's a skeleton because he's famished. Um, and uh, he's at a convention. He's on a sabbatical right now, so he's just kind of whooping it up with his buddies and getting kind of skunk. Key to effective animation is the ability to create movement appropriate to a character's personality especially one as outrageous as famines. What? You, you are moral. One of Teresa's secrets is studying reference film, which will never be seen by audiences. The actors that we see here in the reference film are the actual um, actors that perform the voices. When we bring them in to perform the voices on mic, we also bring in a film crew and we actually film the actors as they perform the voices. Here we have the skeleton character. But you know what? If any of those other guys knew you were alive, they'd rip your snout off. <laughs> the animators then use that as reference as they go out on the set and actually animate. <laughs> but you know what? If any of those other guys knew you were alive, they'd rip your snout off. <laughs> uh, hello? And as the project Hello. continues on, more and more of the finished animated shots get dropped into place, and pretty soon the whole show is in its entirety finished. Fellas, I want you to meet Dr. Jekyll. <laughs> <laughs> the success of both stop-motion animation and CGI depends on artistic vision. Realizing this, Vinton Cross trains his animators so that they can apply their talent to either medium. In fact, the essence of what we were doing uh, bringing characters to life is translated just verbatim almost over from the 3D models in real space to, to 3D computer animation. So the transition has been one for us of not R&Ding uh, the software and the hardware of computer animation, but rather keeping our focus on the artistry, on breathing life into these characters. No matter the medium, Will Vinton Studios will continue creating a varied array of fascinating characters with enough quirky human traits to keep audiences entranced. <laughs>